Nikola Tesla is considered the most creative and mysterious figure in human history. He invented technologies far superior to the mainstream technologies of his time. In fact, without Tesla's research and inventions, our current technological landscape would be much more outdated. Furthermore, today, you also cannot watch this video on your phone. The inventions people are aware of from Tesla are only those made before he turned 40. The innovations that followed have all been classified by the FBI as top secret. Einstein was once asked what it was like to be the smartest man alive. He replied, I don't know. You'll have to ask Nikola Tesla. In textbooks, we are taught that Edison is the king of inventions, but it seems the truth is not so. Over a century ago, Tesla had an exclusive interview with the magazine Immortality, but few know that the content of that interview has been concealed for more than a century. Today, let's together decipher the mystery of the interview believed to have been concealed for over a century. Speaking of Tesla, he is undoubtedly the most important genius inventor in human history, irreplaceable by anyone. His scientific innovations surpassed the technological level of his time by decades, even reaching 300 years, and in some cases, over a thousand years. What people commonly know are the inventions Tesla made before the age of 40. All of his innovations in the latter part of his life were classified as top secret by the FBI. Interestingly, despite Nikola Tesla being the most important inventor and scientist in history, there is relatively little documentation related to him, and his achievements seem not to be widely disseminated to the public. Tesla is the inventor of the alternating current generator, the basis for all electrical transmission systems used worldwide today. Some argue that if the world had been without Edison, light bulbs and electric alarms would still have been invented. However, if there were no Tesla, the global development would have slowed down by at least half a century. This seemingly exaggerated statement is, in fact, not an exaggeration at all. Tesla's recorded inventions alone exceed 300 patents. If we consider the patents he sold or those that went unrecognized, the number would be even greater. Tesla also pioneered wireless technology. The devices we use every day, such as smartphones, computers, TVs, missiles, GPS, satellites, spacecraft, ships, all rely on wireless technology. In addition, neon lights, radio, power transformers, induction motors, remote control systems, transformers, amplifiers, and artificial lightning are all inventions of Tesla. On average, Tesla had more than 20 inventions per year, with a new invention every 20 days. Some argue that considering the magnitude of his achievements, the notion that Tesla hails from Venus holds a certain credibility. It's important to note that the invention process is laborious and time-consuming. Some individuals spend their entire lives without producing a groundbreaking invention. In contrast, Tesla's life has at least yielded numerous enduring innovations. This is why Tesla is often hailed as a master closest to divinity, due to the sheer volume of his impactful inventions. But in reality, it seems that the day Tesla was born already predetermined an extraordinary life for him. Tesla, born in 1856 in the Austrian Empire present-day Serbia, is said to have arrived during a fierce thunderstorm in the local area on his birthday. The midwife referred to the child as the child of a storm. However, Tesla's mother, herself an inventor, immediately declared that the child was born of light. And indeed, through Tesla's inventions, we can see that his strength lies in light. Tesla had a brother and three sisters. In 1863, when Tesla was just seven years old, 
His brother, Dane, tragically fell off a horse and died. This event had a profound impact on Tesla. From that point forward, he began to experience vivid flashes of light accompanied by hallucinations. When Tesla heard a word, the word and associated details representing objects related to it would quickly flash through his mind. This phenomenon became a source of inspiration for his innate talent. Tesla possessed an eidetic memory akin to taking a photograph. When he laid eyes on an object, he could instantly recreate every detail of it in his mind, without the need for pen and paper, drawing or models. Consequently, he didn't require manual intervention. A mere glance allowed him to recall the entire content of a page. From the age of 17 onwards, Tesla began harnessing this ability on his journey to becoming an inventor. The machines he crafted seemingly never failed. Once they took shape in his brain, they were brought to life, seamlessly aligning with his initial design intentions. We extensively discuss Tesla's inventions, yet textbooks proclaim Edison as the king of inventions. So, what's the truth behind this? In reality, Tesla and Edison were contemporaries with a complex relationship. Let's briefly explore how Tesla and Edison first crossed paths. Initially, an astute employer recognized Tesla's talent, hired him, and Tesla lived up to those expectations by inventing the world's first induction motor. However, this employer believed that such a genius should deploy his talents elsewhere. Moreover, in order to have better resources and a larger space for achieving greater feats, he wrote a letter of recommendation to Edison. In the letter, he mentioned, I know two great men. One is you, and the other is this young man. In 1884, Tesla came to work at Edison's company in New York, USA. Thus, the two future rivals finally met. At that time, Edison was still unaware of Tesla's talent, so he asked Tesla to start by improving simple machines. The results were not only consistent improvements by Tesla, but he also outperformed an entire team at Edison's company. The remarkable aspect was that Tesla worked alone, without a team. This astonished Edison. On one occasion, Edison challenged Tesla to improve the direct current motor, promising him $50,000 if successful, equivalent to about $1 million today. Hence, Tesla began redesigning the direct current motor and achieved success. However, afterward, Edison reneged on his promise, refusing to pay the agreed-upon reward and telling Tesla that, when you become a full-fledged American, you'll appreciate an American joke. At that time, Tesla's weekly salary was $18, and it would take him 53 years to earn such a large amount. Frustrated, he requested a raise to $25 per week, only to be unexpectedly rejected by Edison. Outraged, Tesla left his employer. After leaving Edison's company, by 1886, Tesla had established his own company. He began developing alternating current electrical generators and motors. Simultaneously, he received invitations to present his inventions at the American Institute of Electrical Engineers. This information quickly reached George Westinghouse, the owner of Westinghouse Electric. Upon seeing Tesla's inventions and patents, he decided to spend $60,000 to purchase the rights to the patents, along with a generous royalty fee. Westinghouse also invited Tesla to become a consultant for his company and collaborated with the technology team to develop the alternating current electrical system. Compared to direct current, alternating current consumed less energy, requiring fewer power plants. By increasing voltage during transmission and then reducing it near the areas of usage, significant cost savings could be achieved. As a result, many power plants began to switch to Westinghouse Electric. 
With Tesla's invention of alternating current, Edison's direct current innovation faced a cold market reception. To protect his own position, Edison resorted to malicious tactics to damage Tesla's reputation and discredit alternating current. At that time, Edison designed the world's first high-voltage AC electric chair for executing prisoners, using animals such as dogs, cats, and monkeys as experimental subjects. These animals were subjected to electric shocks until death, and Edison claimed that AC was only suitable for killing animals in slaughterhouses and executing prisoners. This campaign tarnished the public's perception of alternating current. The struggle between direct current and alternating current concluded with Edison's apparent victory. There are even reports suggesting that Edison manipulated various financial groups to isolate and pressure Tesla, leading to Tesla losing access to critical resources. Edison went further by interfering with Tesla's inventions and manipulating relationships to diminish Tesla's standing in the scientific community. This gradually led to Tesla losing his place in the scientific world. Since then, Tesla and Edison went their separate ways. Edison, being a businessman, viewed scientific inventions as tools for making money. On the other hand, Tesla's major flaw was his lack of attention to money and legal matters. Their different values and perspectives turned them into lifelong adversaries. This animosity was a significant factor in Tesla's later years when he developed a fear of social interaction, becoming extremely apprehensive of outsiders and avoiding conversations with strangers. This fear led him to live in seclusion. Tesla never married, and he faced severe financial difficulties in his later years due to the costs associated with his inventions. It can only be disheartening suffering in solitude throughout the remaining tragic chapter of one's life. Tesla's story is truly sad. A great scientist who deserved a better fate. In recent years, as security clearances have expired, the FBI has declassified many documents on its official website. Among them is a declassified document from 1957 with a total of 64 pages and its content is like this. The space people have visited the Tesla engineers many times and have told us that Tesla was a Venusian brought to this planet as a baby in 1856 and left with Mr. and Mrs. Tesla in a remote mountain province in what is now Yugoslavia. After this document was made public, it truly shocked the world, leading to waves of discussions and suspicions online. However, the FBI has not provided any responses or explanations to date. This inevitably arouses people's curiosity even more. Now, let's explore the solid evidence within this declassified document. Looking at the few lines above, we can see that a woman named Margaret Storm was tasked with collaborating with extraterrestrial beings. She was required to write a biography about Tesla. The majority of the material written in the book is based on information obtained from Tesla Set, a radio type machine invented by Tesla in 1938 for interplanetary communication. Margaret Storm was assigned the task of collaborating with extraterrestrial beings to write a memoir about Tesla. Most of the information in the book was supposedly obtained from Tesla's communication with beings from Venus. In an interview, Margaret disclosed that Tesla regularly kept in touch with extraterrestrial beings, with the majority of them purportedly coming from Venus. The intriguing question arises, what was the purpose of Margaret writing this book? And for what reason did she claim Tesla was connected to beings from Venus? According to FBI documents, Margaret was supposed to present these materials to certain small groups in New York area within the next few weeks. Although extraterrestrials speak frankly with us, as a race, we have become excessively lazy. However, the world's situation is by no means hopeless. 
If we want to unite this planet to confront the dark forces, preventing it from turning into ashes and dust, in terms of spirituality or consciousness, we need to become even stronger. Could it be that Margaret's book is triggering a new awareness in people about reality? From there, it may lead humans to a higher spiritual position in the universe. Or it could be said to elevate the spirit of humanity so that we can navigate through the disasters Earth is facing. If the content in the documents is true, it means that the United States is still maintaining a close relationship with extraterrestrial beings. So, what is Tesla's mission from Venus to Earth? What is the intention behind the extraterrestrial encounters with Tesla? Why do extraterrestrial beings inform the FBI about Tesla's true identity? These are all issues worth further contemplation. In 1899, Tesla conducted an exclusive interview with the Immortality magazine, and this interview has been hidden for over a century. In the interview, Tesla mentioned the responsibility of a scientist. He said, Life has an infinite number of forms, and the duty of scientists is to find them in every form of matter. Three things are essential in this. All that I do is a search for them. I know I will not find them, but I will not give up on them. Journalist, what are these things? Tesla, one issue is food. What a stellar or terrestrial energy to feed the hungry on earth. With what wine watered all thirsty, so that they can cheer in their heart and understand that they are gods. Another thing is to destroy the power of evil and suffering in which man's life passes. They sometimes occur as an epidemic in the depths of space. In this century, the disease had spread from Earth in the universe. The third thing is, is there an excess light in the universe? I discovered a star that by all the astronomical and mathematical laws could disappear and that nothing seems to be modified. This star is in this galaxy. Its light can occur in such density that fits into a sphere smaller than an apple, a heavier than our solar system. Religions and philosophies teach that man can become the Christ, Buddha, and Zoroaster. What I am trying to prove is wilder and almost unattainable. This is what to do in the universe so every being is born as Christ, Buddha, or Zoroaster. Tesla's words are indeed quite abstract, and people need to interpret them in their own way. Tesla is the greatest inventor in history, and the first hydroelectric power station at Niagara Falls, which we often know about, was built by him. According to the regulations at the time, for every 735 watts of alternating current generated, Tesla would receive one USD copyright fee. Just based on this money, Tesla could have become the richest person in the world very quickly. However, Tesla chose to give up the patent rights, opting to offer his inventions freely for the benefit of the entire world. Indeed, Tesla's decision to give up patent rights was not due to foolishness, but stemmed from an even greater ideal. That ideal was the belief that energy should not be restricted, but should be universally accessible. Throughout the legendary life of Tesla, he invented many things that are indispensable in our lives today. Yet, we are often taught that the king of inventions is Edison. In reality, Tesla deserves the title even more, and his contributions far surpass those of Edison by countless measures. Considering this, perhaps it's time for us to reevaluate some of the things we were taught from an early age as some of them might be incorrect. The legendary life of Tesla, it has given us plenty of reflections and inspiration. Perhaps we need to change our perceptions to better understand the world. What about you? Welcome your thoughts in the comments section below the video. And our sharing for today will stop here. If you find this video helpful, please share it with a friend. 
Thank you very much. Goodbye and see you again.